all right what's up guys welcome back to another amazing video thank you so much for watching on this video i'm gonna be talking about zen so ladies and gentlemen if you guys have not been keeping up with zen we have recently had a good price upward move in which it looks really good like it's insanely positive for the future of zen like yes we are having a small pullback which by the way i did say we were gonna have a pullback shortly because of that overbought territory in which it worked out perfectly man i'm very proud and and glad that it is pulling back like it went all the way up to here no it was like somewhere around here i think you know i think somewhere around here um i said that this looks great right but we need a healthy pullback so we can go higher boom there we go look i even have my yellow line right here perfect like i'm so proud of this yo great job zen community great job zen zen price zen jack everybody this is perfect this is exactly what we want to see in order for zen to be successful and go higher into the future so we saw this line if you haven't watched my previous video go check it out you know by the way click the subscribe button click the like button zen community let's unite and let's get this video out there for more exposure so more people can see the power of zen and don't let them miss this great potential for the bull run so I drew this line on the previous video and I said, look, this line right here, we have seen previous times where it's overbought and then it pulls back. So boom, perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. But this video, I want to show you guys what I think it's going to take for this to go parabolic, like the perfect storm, the perfect scenario in which Zen can do a 10x, 20x and more. Okay, no promises, no guarantees. Just put in what you can afford to lose. Just know that ETH right now is like 3.5. 3.7k somewhere around there and then claiming zen right now under ethereum it is getting pretty hectic it's getting pretty pricey so people are going out into the market and buying the market cap is still 41.5 million dollars it's currently up like 20 ish million from literally days ago it's just just insane and this is just the beginning i'm super excited about the future and i'm i'm so excited about what i'm about to show you too so we have, if you've been subscribed to, on for the channel for a while, you would know that I do the 1334 moving averages and it determines whether it's bullish or bearish, super bullish or super bearish. You, If you don't know, then let me brief, I'm a, a little short run, right? If this crosses, the 13 crosses like upward into the 34, then that's a bullish move. And then if the candlesticks hover above, that it's a super bullish move. Now, if the 13 crosses downward, that's a bearish move. And then, of course, vice versa. If the candlesticks are below the 1334, that's a super uh, bearish move. So that in mind, it, this is like about 80 to 85% of the time, this technical analysis type of style works. And it, it works to the dot. I love it, okay? If you want to copy my style, that's fine. I've already made multiple videos about how to put up the style. Uh, your indicators on a trading view or on gecko terminal and all that just look it up you'll you'll find it but this right here since it works just fine right i want you to see what this massive potential can be if this happens so watch this so down here we crossed bullish right here and look at this big push upward we crossed bullish here we pushed up we crossed bullish right here back in february of early last month and then boom we crossed upward so you can see that pattern right once it does that bullish cross on the 1334 it tends to do really really good especially for the candlesticks being up top making it a super upward move now look at that weekly for the first time in zen history from what i have seen from what i have gathered hopefully i'm not mistaken by this look at here you would see the 1334 are the purple lines and the pink lines right here. You don't see any candlesticks above the 1334. It's blank, right? Nothing. So now I'm going to zoom in a good amount and look at here. I'm so I'm so hyped about this. The last time we crossed bullish, which was just for a split of a second, this right here. We crossed bullish and then we automatically dropped down. So I wouldn't even consider this a cross. That was still the very early stages of Zen in which, you know, it was still not, it was still here, but not established as well. But now it's already been over a year, you know, two years or whatever, almost that pushing that two year mark in which it's established. It's here. It's here to stay. It's proven itself to be that coin where it can be pushed down, hit, stabbed, everything 
I hope YouTube doesn't take that stab <laughs> word the wrong way. Calm down, YouTube. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not taking it in a bad way. And it's just bashing it down onto the ground, but it held its ground. Like, great, right? Now, look right here. For the first time ever in Zen history, we are above the 1334 moving average, which is a very great bullish sign. The only thing we need, literally, the only thing we need to do and I'm probably going to, I've been, I've been saying this too, but now we are one step closer for this to actually happen. I'm going, I'm so hyped, yo. Remember this video, remember me, remember what I'm saying, quote it, tag me if this happens in the future, clip it. If this happens, I'm going to have to, I'm, well, actually, I'm going to delete this one right here, by the way. By the way, I was right about this. <laughs> I was right about this move right here. It just happened a lot earlier than than expected but i'm gonna draw this one um if we see the cross well actually i'm going to do this i'm gonna draw it like here if we see this cross going that way and i'm going to make the color i'm gonna make it mm, let's do red if we see this cross whoops if we see this cross right here that will be a bullish cross if that happens and the candlesticks are up top, uh, hovering above the 1334, ladies and gentlemen, on a weekly, this will legit make Zen go parabolic. You don't even understand how, if this candle looks good, just you wait until this scenario right here plays out. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to do a 4X, actually, so that way it can be a lot um, thicker, and it actually shows itself pretty well. And there we go. So once this happens, if it happens, it's still pretty early to determine. Like, we are still weeks away from the looks of it because this is the weekly candles. The daily, the four-hour, all of them, especially the minutes, They this happens, like, consistently a lot of times, you know, day by day by day. But for the weekly very it's harder and it takes a longer time period because of course it is the weekly now when is this going to happen i still see it's hard to tell my estimate is four four to eight weeks would be the scenario in which this might cross no promises no guarantees i i wish i can tell you tomorrow i wish i can tell you tonight but this also gives you a great opportunity to load your load up your bags DCA, buy it up wherever you can, do mints, claim, stake, whatever you want to do. This is your chance to be ready for whenever and if ever this happens. Bitcoin is already at like 68,000. Ethereum almost hitting 4K. Binance, 400 and some dollars. Polygon is over a dollar already. You know, even Cardano, Tron is currently almost even 15, 20 cents. I think, ladies and gentlemen, the potential is there. This is the coin that people would want to invest in because it's a human psychology in which this coin is six zeros and a six. Newcomers, the new average crypto Joe that comes along has $100 to invest in. Would he rather buy 0.25 worth of BNB or would he rather buy with his $100, would he rather buy $100 worth of Zen? And be like, yo, this could hit $1 one day. This could hit $0.10 cents one day. It might be able to hit 0.01 cents, whatever, right? It's that human psychology. That's really what happens in a bull run, in a massive bull run. That human psychology, the newcomers, that new fresh money coming into the market is what really drives the price of crypto higher and higher and higher. That's why you always see altcoins going crazy, shit coins, meme coins, all of them type of ICO plays or whatever, right? 0.001 cents, people flood into it, Shiba, Doge, all of them, right? That $1 aspect, that scenario in their heads, that money coming in makes it happen. So whenever the average Joe sees Zen, which by the way, I heard a rumor and it's going around on Twitter. By the way, go follow me on Twitter. It is Crypto Audit King. The link's going to be down below in the description. The, the, there's a rumor going around that it's going to be, that Zen is going to be listed on Binance. I don't know how much proof there is about it, but there's like little screenshots going around of purchases. There's little rumors 
screenshots of conversations. I don't know how much accurate that is, but if you do know, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, I haven't got the chance to 100% look into it, but once I saw this pattern right here, I was like, yo, the first time ever candlestick closes above the 1334. Once these two cross, it's over, man. Like I'm telling you guys, there's no telling how high we could actually go. Like once that happens, we could actually knock out a zero easily, easily. So fingers crossed, be patient guys, continue doing your own strategy, continue doing loading up and everything. We'll see what happens. I just want to put this video out there and hopefully get your hopes up. And, and, you know, if you're feeling down about Zen going to a lower price, or if you're losing hope about Zen, hopefully this video helped out a little more. So guys, if you don't mind, click the like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Take it easy. I'm out. Peace.